politics, said the former premier, too often the worst gets to be first. A lifetime of treachery culminating in murder made Cao Chu prime minister of China. Lin Zhong, former officer of the Imperial Guard, driven to join the outlaws of Liang Shanpo, has united and inspired them to fight and oppose the evil of Cao Chu at every turn. Cao Chu, plotting with the brilliance of an obsessed man, seeks his destruction. Only popular support and perhaps the will of heaven preserves Lin's life. Lin Chung has left the safety of Yang Shanpo now to travel the empire on a sort of spiritual pilgrimage. Many will not understand his motives, least of all when he hears from Kao Chu. Gone? Lin Chung has left Yang Shanpo, you say? Why? I doubt this news. Lu Da, Hu San Yang, Hua Yong, and that bowman Li Yong and his son have all been seen. Lin Chung is reported as not with them. Of course, no one knows why it is. So many sightings, however, must surely mean that Lin Chung has gone out of the business. Without Lin Chung, the whole lot of them are as nothing. Yang Shang Po, in my limited experience, is unique. I'm not at all sure it's wise to underestimate them, sir. Hmm. I excuse your bluntness, because it is true. Warn all commands that Lin Chung is loose throughout the empire. The reward will be increased. Ten thousand yuan. Ten thousand? It's a king's ransom. So much money, it makes him too important. I'm going to excuse your informalities since you are duly in my service. Don't make it a habit. That one man is their spirit, and without him they will fail. It's impossible to overestimate his importance. Yet Kao has other problems. That very day, the Emperor actually keeps him waiting for an audience. of you, Kao Chu. You look as evil as you are. This is Chai Chin. I shan't forget the little lord, descendant of emperors, who helps peasants avoid taxes, who killed my governor, who helped that so-called good judge to escape me, and who I believe is a friend even of Lin Chong. No nobility won't protect you. Now they've given the rat power enough to tear your throat out. Yes, I remember. You. You're indeed a very mighty warrior. I thank you, sir. It's flattering a new prime minister should find time with his many onerous duties to have heard of me. Yes. And you'll have heard of me, I dare say, that I am hard and ruthless. That is because while I dislike fools, I have a weakness for warriors. Swordsman enough, a man may have done anything. As with this man. He's a Mongol, a foreigner, who invaded us. He was captured, and I've let him free. I have several such, and I'm pleased enough with this one to have let him take my name. I try to bear no grudges, even against Yang Shampo citizens. Any man can do the same. I would pardon bandits themselves if they repent. Lin Chung, of course, accepted it. Lin Chung? You accept Lin Chung, sir? I am regretfully forced to accept that man, yes. You know he was an Imperial Guard. Yet he defies the Emperor himself. I can forgive many things, but never treason. Well now, Lord Chai Chi. How is it that a soldier like you is not presently doing his duty? Join the Royal Guard. I'll see to it that you get an illustrious appointment. That is really good of you, sir. I shall have to refuse, but with regret, naturally. Our audience with the Emperor was for a purpose. I'm ordered to help my uncle, who is now court etiquette advisor. I did not know. Accept my congratulations on your appointment, Chai Wanche. Concerning you, I do not give up. I know I shall change your mind one day. You know these young men. They'll serve in any capacity to be near the person of the Emperor. 
Now we're in the capital. I have no doubt that we'll meet soon. Excellency. Now, sure. Senor Ignovit, the appointment of an advisor in America. It's not an appointment to shake the world. Nevertheless, you should have been informed of it. Uh, I know that. Imperial sons have a way of growing up and asserting their independence, but... But... It can't do much harm to let the Emperor feel that he can flap his own wings. Those two bear watching. Especially Chai Chin. You are to keep an eye on them both. Tell me if they get too close to His Majesty. How very far away Lin Jun seems from the intrigue and the raw power of an Imperial court. How can a lone man touch Kao? Yet Kao Chu, even now, is reaching out for him. Not so hungry now! <laughs> oh, Major! Major, you are going to pay, aren't you? Just a, just a joke, huh? A joke? I'm not clever enough to think up jokes like that. Sir, it's a joke. I cannot give you food for nothing. Silence! Don't you realize the honor would do you eating your dirty little inn? Oh. Oh. Don't tell me you don't know officers of the Imperial Guard. You should pay us for eating here. Oh. Oh. Hey, I tell you what. Huh. You take the train now. Take it to the guard's headquarters. They'll set this. You happy now? Got a laugh. Oh, yeah. oh God, that's not oh. happening. They never please, pay bills now. Please, pay so. Please, pay. Get out of my way. Oh. 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 Ah. Wait. Don't be unkind. Your soldiers, I'll be glad to settle. Who is, who is this man? They might kill him. I'll pay him. Don't argue with them. I know who you are, Ling Chung. Quickly to us here, all of you guys! I'm a Mongolian, Ying MC. Loyal to Kao Chu and sent to a rescue. But Imperial Guards kill the renegades. Kao Chu will rejoice. Kao Chu, but I thought he was premier of China now. Is it nothing else to do than send the Imperial Guard to chase one man? Yes, I'll defend myself. Boy, I want to see what he's made of, this famous swordsman. You're all soft with peace. Stand back. I'm fighting him. A man hard with war. On guard. Kao isn't stupid to bring Mongols into China. Anyway, even the Great Wall doesn't keep them out. <gasps> Fierce, hungry people. <laughs> attack. An attack until I win. You and China. <laughs> this fat country, Mongols will rape it. Mongols will rule it. I'll defend myself. Men die, die for all manner of odd beliefs. Where they fall, very soon grows green again. China absorbs them all. journey. Everybody follows me around. Enemies as well as friends, I see. The good judge, he wants to talk to me. <laughs> Come along with me. I brought you a horse. Well, Songxia? Well, indeed, it's your Carl Juthi won't go most of his now. So it seems. People all over the Empire are out looking for me. Now Carl's Prime Minister, he has the power to do whatever he wants. And the Divas can only get worse. Or it's still more evil. That's the point. 
You joke, mister. I come along to ask you to return to the Yang Shang Po. Our Chief Chao Kai wants to stay down. The Yang Shang Po needs you to lead us in these difficult times of Valley There is no doubt Lin Cho is the best and strongest of us. Everyone wants you to be our leader. Everybody. All the men want you as chief. I can't do that. I'll tell you now. Liang Shang Po is no longer a gang of bandits. But the chief has to be the strongest of them all be killed. If it ever was, it exists for other reasons. We have to change a government, a system that has grown evil. Not merely fight one man, but force change on the whole system. I see it. Who builds that power except Kao Chu? He must be fought at your best for that. No one inspires the men as you do. No one has a better grasp of strategies. But none of that really has the slightest importance when it's against this. Our chief is not, and I am not. I think I should explain now the reason for my journey. I am full of hate. You know what Kao did to my wife. All that he has done to me, to so many. I cannot forgive him, though I have tried hard. Lian Shang Po must not be led by hatred. Oppose evil with evil, and evil has won. I see the sickness in myself. Does a doctor with a plague cure a patient of smallpox? I cannot be Lian Shang Po. it to be wrong, Lin Chung has come to the capital, where he can only have one purpose. What do you think of it, eh? The capital? Hey, don't keep looking round like that. Anybody sees you, they'll think you're spying. You wouldn't like that. There's nothing like this where I live now. Want you to attack where he's well guarded. 